Hello everybody, welcome to New Tales from the Borderlands. We are here today with the first gameplay and I cannot wait to get into this new gameplay. It's another Telltale Borderlands game and I am very excited. If you guys haven't seen my previous gameplay, it is Tales from the Borderlands, the older one and honestly, it is a very sick game. Some say it's better than this one, but who knows, we're gonna find out this time. So without further ado, let's get right back into the action. Think you've seen it all, huh? Think you know all there is to know about Vault Hunters, Bandits, Corporations, and Nobody Loser Types? Well, you don't know Skag Diddly. Take Promethea, for example. A civilized place, as far as planetary-sized piles of excrement go. A planet still recovering from its war with the Malewan Corporation. The rival Atlas Corporation is in bad shape. Reese Strongfork, the big shot CEO with the regrettable mustache, is scrambling. He's on the cusp of something big. But he's not the only one. And into this pressure cooker steps Dr. Anuradha Dar. Genius inventor, socially awkward, uh, do-gooder type. She works for Atlas, been tinkering with a big, award-winning idea. Her brother, Octavio Wallace Dyer, Meridian City's most well-known man, at least in his own mind. He's convinced his big break is just around the corner. And Fran Miskowitz, purveyor of Reese Strongfork's favorite Frogert flavor. She's hoping for a big insurance payout after that regrettable Malawan laser incident. So, you're probably asking yourself, what makes these three so special? And the answer is nothing. Yet. You're free. Absolutely nothing. Go, go be free. Run. Morning. What? Oh, I mean, good morning. <laughs> Seriously. Again? Yep. Another busy day. Work, work, work. Am I right? By channeling the Iridium's energy through a multiphasic refraction lens, I can reproduce the, as yet, inexplicable powers of the Sirens. Maybe not the wings thing, which is so cool, but uh, crucially, the ability to manipulate an object safely through space-time. I'm Anu, the ultimate Siren fangirl, but for totally scientific reasons, I swear, and I'm so close to replicating the signature move of my all-time favorite siren, Lilith. R.I.P. Fong. <laughs> Fong, your partner in crime? Science. Anu. As I was saying, in addition to forever altering the nature of conflict vis-a-vis -vis offering a non-lethal resolution, my device could also change the world. Anu, PhD, betterer of worlds. You. For the better. Imagine, a way for people to solve their problems without killing each other. I literally can't. I just have to figure out how to actually bring back the objects I phased away. And also where they go. And also what happens to them. Simple. Interdepartmental demonstration scheduled for two weeks from today. Dr. Anuradha Dar signing off. Oh, snap. Two weeks? Really? It's going to be ready by then? You always seem so hesitant to put a timeline on this bad boy, so you know, two weeks. Wow. Yes. It will be ready. I mean, it really sort of has to be, like it 
has to be. It's so important. And also almost time for our quarterly reviews. All I've got to do is just figure out the next step. That's it. There's got to be something I'm missing. Figure it out with, like, your intuition or with your tech goggles? I would like to think both. Maybe start with the tech goggles, though. There's a button on the side. All right, let's, okay, goggles. let's, let's activate them. Let's try a diagnostic. Diagnostic, here we go. Look at this interface, man. I absolutely love this. So for starters, I should probably put an actual power source in there, huh? You needed the goggles for that. Now, where did I put that iridium ore? Who knows? Where did we put that iridium ore? Oh, wow, these controls are quite nice, mate. Okay. I dig them, I dig them. Let's look in here. Get some <laughs> moolah. I remember moolah. you securing it a while ago. You said, I'll definitely remember where it is. Yeah, that was not the case. Make sure if you guys are going to, going to enjoy this series, which I hope you are, because I definitely am going to. Make sure you hit that like button, comment whether you are or not, and subscribe so you don't miss any sweet content. The likes definitely help my channel, and I appreciate every single one. The comments, I absolutely love waking up to, and the subscribes help, so that way my channel can grow. So thank you guys in advance for all of those. You guys are Would super freaking awesome. Would a clearer have stored the iridium in here before calling it tonight? Okay, we the iridium is not in that uh, safe. We can press Q so that way we can open our view. Press Q for the view. Oh, jeez. What else can we look at? What else are we missing? I don't know why I ever thought a Jabberman translator was a good idea. It worked, sure, but it turns out all they want to do is fornicate and fling feces. What a waste of time. That's kind of funny. <laughs> to be expected from such a species, maybe. I mean, maybe not. But that's really funny that, that that's what they wanted to do. <laughs> okay, okay. So there's nothing you know, I can... Being can I, I can't scan... Messy and disorganized are signs of a genius. I can scan this. Okay, that's just showing us our friend. Now that I look at the Jabberman translator with fresh eyes, I realize I may have made a miscalculation in the translation matrix. For all I know, they could have been spouting philosophy. Maybe. Who knows? What else can we scan? I definitely like this little scanny eye thing we have. It works a lot more smooth than Reese's did in the last game. And would a clearer-headed Anu remember the code to her safe for once? I mean, the password right on the safe just like that? That's kind of funny. What's in the safe? Q. Oh, E. I definitely pressed the wrong button at first. I think I pressed W. <laughs> okay, that's just all of our cash. Oh my goodness. Take all that cash. Grab yes, ma'am. for lunch while I've got this bad boy unlocked. Did you say lunch? You buying? I guess. I mean, we have a vault filled with money. We may as well, I may as well buy, right? We're by speaking of money, we are flowing in the cash already and we just started. Where is this darn iridium ore? Let's see what Fong has to say. Fong, do you Fong. happen to have the iridium ore in your pocket? What? No, of course not. Why would I keep iridium in my pocket? Your pocket just seems full. <laughs> oh, don't get cheeky with me, boss. Not unless you mean it. What? No. <laughs> okay, now it's letting us, now it's now showing us the box. I have it on my desk. Line of sight at all times. I definitely looked this, at this me. box earlier. Come on, man. All right, we found it, looks like. Let's My trusty open it. tools. So much potential for science in these simple implements. And what's that? Oh, Anu, really? 
I mean, I did check it way earlier. You could have known earlier, but you decided not to. You decided to look around your lab and ask your Got assistant you. first, or maybe not assistant, whoever that is. <laughs> Left the rare Huang. and incredibly expensive ore inside the toolbox again, didn't you? Uh, maybe. I like Anu so far. <coughs> so we're going <laughs> to smack it. Find the sweet spots. Okay, let's keep smacking it. Rotate, smack, 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 smack. Keep smacking it. Keep rotating. Keep smacking. There we go. <laughs> I love that hum. It's like it's singing. Like a siren song? Yes. Like the siren song that leads the galaxy to a new way of thinking. A world where we stop killing one another. Where we use innovation and technology to help people and protect life, not casually destroy it as a matter, of course. Like, like, don't you know? I know, like profit-focused warmongers with no moral compass beyond the almighty dollar. Exactly. AKA Atlas's motto. <sighs> no cruelty, no killing, no compromise. You're a revolutionary boss. Ooh, who are we rising up against? <laughs> Timmy! Eager, willing, ergonomic. Not that kind of revolutionary, Timmy. Don't worry. I won't. Revolutions typically generate a 30% increase in market share. Good for business! In fact, the only thing better for business than revolutions are the vicious campaigns of suppression by the ruling elite that inexorably fall. Don't you think we should maybe, I don't know, not root for people who resort to violence and total upheaval as a means to an end? Upheaval is integral to progress, and violence begets violence, which as I mentioned is great for business. Right. Anyway, are you here for something in particular, Timmy? Yes, please. I'm here on behalf of Mr. Strongfork to inquire why our company's test subjects are somehow... Liberated. I'm sorry. Test subjects? The Javers. Liberated. Correct. Your comprehension level is impeccable. You should have no trouble explaining why the Javers are loose. Again. They're currently running amok down the laboratory hallways. The janitorial staff is prepping for what I like to call... Go Jabber Grabber time! Oh, are the Jabber cages empty? They are! Weird! That's... so weird! That you release them? It is... a bit. But you have no proof. The thing is, every use of credentials to access a security feature is locked. We have a record of your ID being used to open the cages. Someone else could have grabbed it. The other thing is, our security surveillance system filmed you doing it. If it's any consolation, the footage from this incident was captured at a much more flattering angle than the footage of you releasing the Jabbers those other times. You know what they say about Jabbers. If you lock them in a room with a typewriter, they'll eventually learn how to fake digital signatures and open their own cages. From a statistical standpoint, that is unlikely. Also, no one says that. Also, what is a typewriter? Well, now that we've got that straightened out... Ah, Dr. Dar, you have an update to your calendar incoming. It's an appointment with Mr. Strongfork. Oh, uh, I can check my schedule to see... The appointment is now. Oh, and, uh, what is it regarding? It's a reprimand session for Mr. Strongfork to reprimand you. Oh. Wait, better not go empty-handed? Good luck. All right, time to go present our idea. 2K Games presents. Am I going to have to silence this song too? Please just be a beat. If it's just a beat, I'll be a happy man. This is the second player we play as. I don't remember his name, unfortunately. And I did play a little bit through this before. Uh, I'd say about an hour into it. Again, I did not complete it. I did not beat it. So I have zero clue what's going to go on. I like this character, though. Though I do like all the characters that they introduce. All the, char 
characters that you're able to play What's up, as. Octavio. Oh, Octavio, man, there we go. School's out already? Octavio, future mogul, also you. Hey, Papa Girardi! I can smell your space calzones from here! Ah, thanks! I, I need a new name for them! Might also need to stop doing that problematic accent! Yeah, I, I know. Oh, come on, it's fun though! It's fun! Come on! Miss Johnson, did you get a cybernetic leg? That thing's straight fire. And literally fire. Jesse, how's it hanging, dude? Oh, you know, Octavio, it's a brand new day filled with endless possibilities and excitement. Sounds like it. I mean, every day is. If you think about it that way. We got an incoming call. Let's take it. New Agorex, who it is? <laughs> Another new device? Come on, Octavio. It's Radon. But listen, I'm almost done with this demolition job. <laughs> Wanna head to Paco's for tacos? Sure. Why not? Tacos, tacos haven't hurt anyone yet. I'll see you there. All right, we're gonna meet our buddy for at Paco's Tacos. Octavia. God, jeez. Louis. I anticipated your arrival and have been waiting in a location that would not obstruct others. No, no, I, I wasn't scared, <laughs> like at all. <laughs> your biometrics appear otherwise. Your voice resembles a nine-year-old girl's. Nine-year... <clears throat> nine-year-old girls are the future, so thank you. I acquired the publication you requested. Louis, kill out. Flaint. Come on, come on. Your biometrics read extreme disappointment. It's Forge's super successful Dirty 30. It lists the planet's most promising, innovative entrepreneurs, and I'm not on it. Again! Have you accomplished some extraordinary business transaction to warrant your acknowledgement on this list? I survived Malawan's invasion. And I'd like to think that my social influence has kept this city together after the war left it in damn near ruins. No would have been a more succinct answer. Look, I'm working on it. Why? This list is merely the opinion of other humans. You should not value it. As a machine, I find this accolade pointless to strive for. You're right! <laughs> Who cares about some dumb list of super successful entrepreneurs? If you'd like to gain more work experience, I know people who could hire you as a meat target for new assassination bots. Uh, that's okay. The pay is terrible, but the medical benefits are also terrible. Perhaps you are disappointed, but look on the bright side. Many of these celebrated humans have contracts on their heads. Bivington Bradwick, for example, has numerous bounties on his life, but no assassination bot can kill him. He is rich and important enough that he never has to leave his home or do anything for himself. You, however, are not on this list. You're anonymous, unrecognized, a nobody. This is beneficial for your survival. But not beneficial for my image. I mean, all the best business people have probably at least killed someone to succeed. Something to warn a bounty anyway. I'm doing whatever it takes to maintain appearances. Come on, if there was a list of all the best assassination bots, wouldn't you want to be on it? No. Hey, that list? Forget it. I didn't even want to read it. I just wanted to see if you would read it. That logic does not make sense. That's because I'm a future business genius. I'm playing four dimensional chess. I'm a sentient computer. I'm literally playing 300 games of four dimensional chess right now. And I just won. Y yeah, well, I'm more dangerous. I've killed 963 people. You have killed no one. Ah, another checkmate. 
And another. And I get it, man. Despite your erratic behavior today, I am in need of your assistance. Sorry, I'm busy networking, innovating, shaking hands. After Malawan killed nearly half the merchants in the city, we've all needed to make new contacts. This would be an actual job, with money. Your various business concepts like financing, marketing, public appeal. Kidding! <laughs> I'm not busy. Totally pranked you. <laughs> you just got Octavio. And we'll see how Octavio he got next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, favorite, and subscribe. This was the new Tales from the Borderlands. And next episode, we're going to figure out more about this tale. I love, absolutely love the dialogue in this game so far. Next episode, we're going to find out how much more smooth it is. And I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.